Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Coco Goff won her first Grand Slam doubles title on Sunday as the American and her playing partner Katerina Siniakova scored a straight sets victory in the French Open final. Goff and Siniakova, who is from the Czech Republic, defeated Italians Jasmine Paulini and Sarah Arani 7-6, 6-3 on court Philippe Chatrier. It was Goff's third women's doubles final after losing championship matches at Roland Garros in 2022 and the U.S. Open in 2021. It was a familiar situation for Siniakova, who claimed her eighth Grand Slam doubles title and her third at the French Open. Third time's a charm. Thank you, Katerina, for playing with me. We decided two days before the tournament to play together, Goff, who is the reigning women's singles champion at the U.S. Open, said. Thank you to the fans. I know November 30th Sunday morning is early for most people. It's early for me. Paulini was also the runner-up in the singles final at Roland Garros to four-time champion IGA Swiatek on Saturday. Swiatek beat Goff in the singles semifinal. The last two weeks were very nice, very emotional, Paulini said. I have a lot of memories. I can't wait to be back. Siniakova owns a career slam in women's doubles alongside partner Barbara Krejcikova, including the French Open in 2018 and 2021. Arani also owns a career slam in doubles alongside her former partner, Roberta Vinci. The Italian pair won the French Open title in 2012, the year Arani lost the singles final. It's really special to be in this court again. I don't know how many more years I have to play. But it's always special to play these kinds of matches, the 37-year-old Arani said. It will be special to play the Olympics here in this place. So I'll see you in one month. Paulini was playing in her first final in women's doubles. Irani's serve was broken twice in the first set, and Paulini stayed on the baseline to compensate in the 11th game. The tactic worked as Irani held serve. Goff and Siniakova took the first set when Irani's volley at the net went long and raced to a 4-1 lead in the second set, with Paulini 0-30 down on her serve. The Italians fought back to 4-3 with a service game to follow but Irani's serve was broken again and their momentum was lost.